Hello everybody, Stoic here, back playing The Illusion of Gaia. And last time we were fighting the stupid vampires and getting our butts kicked as will. So I went back and got Frieden. And uh, hopefully this will go better. Hopefully he can do more than one freaking damage on them. Um, yeah, so let's, uh, let's hope for the best. Hi, Eric. Yeah. Yeah, we've we've been through this. I don't I don't I don't want to go through this again. It's great. You're not getting my massive statue. Ow. Ow. Oh. Oh come on! Really? Hi. Excuse you. I'm concentrating on this dude. Yep. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Okay, I'm dead. Oh. Um. Yes. Come here. Come here. Yes. Screw you. I do no health left. Come on. Oh. I'm gonna die. Yep. There it is. Death. Okay, let's try this again. Yes, we know all this. Ow. Ow. Oh, come on, you jerk. Oh, leave me alone. <sighs> Suck. Ow. God dang it. Get away from me! You jerk! Oh yeah, this is cool. Yeah. Come here. Ow. I'm gonna die again. It's gonna happen. Yep, there it is. Once more into the fray! Yes. Bum, 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 bum. Run, Frieden! Jeez, man. Yeah, you go. Oh. Okay, where'd you go? Wow, I can hit you through all that junk? Okay, oh, hi. Don't follow me. No, don't do that either. Don't do that either. Leave me alone! You... Oh, suck. I don't like you. Come here. Nope. Just run away. Oh, I got him. Sweet. I didn't even use an herb yet. Where are... Oh, there you are. Shoot! Stop that! Run! And... Back away! Back away! I'm doing surprisingly well. Where'd you go? Here you are. Ow. Leave me be, woman. Oh, I can't hit you. I thought I could hit you. Oh. Run away! Oh, okay, I can run into you and not get hurt. That's cool. Dang it. Come back here. Yep. But that happens. Okay, probably, uh, herb. Not equipped. That's right. Yes. Eating the herb, you gained his strength! Not all of it, though! Dang it. Woman. Go for it! Yes! Victory is mine! You suck! God. Not nearly as bad as Yoon in, uh, Dark Forces, but hey. Freaking A. Alright, uh, I'm supposed to disarm this thing? There's a red wire and a blue wire sticking out of the bomb. Of course there is. Cut which one? Uh, red wire, blue wire. Uh, I like blue. Red wire's cut! Yeah, victory! I should join a SWAT team. 
The bomb has been defused. Saved. Oh yeah, I forgot Lily was in my pocket. Sorry, Will. There was nothing I could do. Yeah, my legs gave out from fear. I couldn't move or make a sound. Up to now, I thought I was strong, but in a crisis... Sorry for staying in your pocket for so long. Yeah, get out. Untie, untie this guy. Don't tell anyone that Will's in disguise. Are you talking to Lily? Because I, I, I'd appreciate it, yeah. I guess I'll just leave you there. Maybe. What the hell? Can I go somewhere? Can I leave? See you, Eric. You're tied up. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, guys. How'd you get here? Will, are you okay? Will, I don't have... I don't see Lily. Has something happened? I'm here. She's in my pocket. Take that as you will. <laughs> Sorry I, I worried you. Will was protecting me, so, was, so I was okay. Yes. Oh, Kara's looking around. She's not happy. Well, Will seems to have really grown up. Oh, there's Eric. He managed to untie himself. It doesn't matter. Let's think about how to leave Moo. That's good. We heard, we heard some things from someone called Rama. Will told everyone about Mu and the people who had come through the underwater tunnel. It's such a sad story, separated from those with whom they lived. Others remaining underwater. If we go through the tunnel, maybe we can reach the mainland. Good idea! Let's get out of here! Yes. And now we are in the tunnel. Somehow we found it. Five days have passed since we entered the tunnel. The same scenery goes on and on, and it's hard to keep track of time. Let's rest here today. I'm so tired. I must have walked 500 miles today. If I could walk... This is crazy. Having to walk so far? Enough! You've been tired ever since we started this trip. Look who's talking. Lance is right. Kara, I think all of us feel the same way. Let's eat. I'm hungry. All right. Do we have provisions? Remember when I mentioned when we were flying a plane and we don't have provisions? Do we have those? Huh? Girl time. People are strange. I'm afraid the longer we travel in this tunnel, the easier it will be to forget why we're here. Maybe all ancient people were that way. What? We want to get out of the tunnel. That's why we're here. I want a steak and a salad. My skin has gone dry from eating weird food. Deal with it, woman. Thousands of years ago, people walked through this tunnel. Somehow, when I think of the distant past, I feel so insignificant. Deep, man. I wonder how far this tunnel goes. Oh, God. Gross. I'm not even... Hello? These mushrooms grow all over in the tunnel. It's our only food. Yesterday, baked mushroom. The day before, boiled mushroom. Before that, raw awfully tasteless. We can't ask too much. I'll do it to live. We have to eat. Okay. I can't leave. Alright everyone, dinner! Oh no, we'll find more mushrooms! It's better than starving. Well, let's eat. Yeah, sorry I don't have steak. Spoil. In this way, another day passed slowly. Okay. This is, this is reminiscent of the raft. Hey, this is different. Eighth day in the tunnel. Unable to sleep, I stared at an underground river. Since we're underwater, that kind of scares me a little bit. Can't sleep? No, I'm looking for more mushrooms. Just kidding. Will, you've changed during this journey. Somehow you've grown up. I don't understand it myself, but I can use some strange power. My body has changed to the body of a warrior. The change seems to have started when my father went to the Tower of Babel. I'm just starting to understand that power. Why did you join this dangerous expedition? At first it was just for fun, but now it's a secret. <laughs> we will walk all day again tomorrow. Let's get some sleep. Two weeks since entering the tunnel. Still no end in sight. Sweet. Last night when I was sleeping, I heard an odd sound from above. Kara is very concerned about that sound. I'm too tired to do anything. 
Alright. Oh. Well, that was a weird sound. Wait, I hear it again. What is that sound? Oh, that's a, that's a bad sound. It's shaking stuff. That's a really bad sound, because that's bad music. Maybe it's Riverson! Oh no! We've gotta run! Run? Run where? I don't know. Further down the tunnel? Possibly. Ding ding. Quiet, everybody! Everyone! This vibrating sound. It's Morse code! Of course it is. It's a signal ships use to talk to each other. The length of the sound indicates letters. Let's see if I can decode it. Wait. This is Seth. Seth? Shh, quiet! Neil continues. <laughs> Neil, what? I was swallowed by Riverson. When I came to, the form of my body had changed to Riversons. That's really weird. That's like Final Fantasy X stuff. This Riverson is a creature who lives in the ocean. Really? I don't know if it's human or not. That would be creepy. He said that evolution is being affected by the light of a comet. I don't hear a tapping anymore. How are, we, how are we getting this? I wanted to continue the journey with you, but not in this body. You must figure out this riddle of the comet and the ruins. Dot, dot, dot. I don't hear anything now. Seth, I'm scared. This guy must have studied Morse code. Seth, too, did a good thing. But Seth didn't have a human form. No, Eric. Don't jump to conclusions. Only humans think that human shape is the best one. Well, cheer up. Let's go. Okie dokie. Oh, hey, this is different. We're here at last. We've walked through the tunnel for almost a month. Look, a sign. What? Angel tribe? Travelers, please use this room. Angels living in a place like this? They say that angels don't like meeting with people. First, we can rest in that room. Will, let's go. What? Will, come with me. What are you grinning about? I'll explore this place myself. Don't try to follow me. Great. Why are you so grouchy? Maybe she's just tired. Let her be for now. And Lily's like, whoop, I'm just gonna ignore everybody else's legs and stuff. Just gonna, how far does this go? Okay, that far. Kara's already gone. Okay, well, this is interesting. Well, I missed. There we go. Ooh, this is nice. It's not bad. Hey, Lance. Will, I want to talk to you about something. It's hard to talk about, but I seem to have fallen in love with Lily. Okay. I dream only of her. I want her to notice me. It's not like me, is it? Ah, uh, I don't... Tell you the truth, I don't know you that well, man. You don't... Really tell me a lot. Um... Wait. It's not like me, is it? Uh, I'll say right. Sure, if you don't think it is. I didn't think I'd ever hear you say a thing like that. But you've spent a lot of time together. It seems only natural. Soon it will be Lily's 15th birthday. I want to give her a present and tell her how I feel. What would you give her? Okay, a flower, a pretty necklace, a sweet kiss. Hmm. I don't know, man. I'm, uh... A bouquet of flowers would be ironic, because she's a freaking... Uh... Turns into a dandelion or whatever. Pretty necklace, sweet kiss. And her name's Lily. Let's be corny. Any woman would like a bouquet of flowers. I know. All right. I'll send a bouquet of rosebuds to show my love. No, lilies, man. Come on. Thanks for the advice. I'll think about it. It's good to have friends. Well, I agree. But come on, man. Lilies. She. Their name's Lily. You give her lilies. Unless that's too ironic. I don't know. 
All right, well, I'm definitely going to stop it here. We'll talk to the rest of these guys next time. Till then, I'm going to not melt and glitter in the sunlight. I'm okay. I'm not a vampire. We just killed those. Thank God. So until then, stay frosty. <laughs>